Welcome to this talk on the new view only mode feature of the GNU Radio Companion, the GRC. I'm Oskar Ekholm and I'm a computer science student at KTH, Stockholm, Sweden. And I've been working on this view only mode feature during the summer for this year's Google Summer of Code. And uh, today I'm presenting an overview of the feature. So just to summarize uh, what the view only mode is briefly uh, to start off. The view only mode is a GRC feature which allows the user to open and view untrusted flow graphs without having to evaluate the untrusted code contained in the block parameters. So you might be familiar with uh, block parameters actually being Python expressions. So in this block parameter window we can input some Python code and have the GRC evaluate that, um, which is a nice feature to have since it allows us to have some parameters which dynamically depend on some outside factor uh, and in this specific example it's simply convenient to just input the the calculation and have the GRC actually calculate the value uh, and then the evaluated value is used by by the GRC um, for, for running and generating the flow graph but also it is shown on, on the block surface. And whenever you're saving a flow graph, these expressions are saved to the GRC file, but not the not the values, the evaluate, evaluated values themselves. Um, or that's how it has been before the view only mode, at least. And uh, this is fine and dandy, of course, when when we created the flow graph ourselves, uh, since we, we know the Python code that's inside and we trust it since we've done it ourselves. But if we were to download some, some flow graph from the internet, we might not be so trusting. And we wouldn't really know uh, what is contained in that flow graph. So, so I want to show how, how we could embed some sort of malicious code in, in an expression. So let's take this expression, for example. I know it's sort of hard to read due to the colors, but it basically says import OS module and, and then execute the command touch uh, home Oscar GRC test to create this file GRC test in my home directory. Uh, and this is executed once we load the flow graph. So we open the flow graph, the GRC will execute and evaluate the expressions of the parameters and thus a file GRC test is created in my home directory. And of course, this is quite a, a harmless uh, example where creating a file isn't a huge deal, but we could easily change this command to something else. Perhaps we could remove uh, our home directory. And of course, I would not be so happy if, if I loaded a flow graph and it would just erase all of my files. So, so this sort of illustrates the problem that we're trying to solve. Uh, and I also just want to add that there are other expressions which are evaluated um, when loading the flow graph other than the parameter expressions, uh, such as the ones in, in the image here, where, where we have some parameters and in this case we have the hide parameter which has this conditional so there are expressions originating from outside the flow graph file itself but rather from from the definitions of the blocks uh, that the flow graph uses and I, I will get back to this uh, soon so let's start to look at the actual view only mode for a bit um, so, here. Okay, so let's say that I've downloaded some some random flow graph from from the internet, and I I don't really trust it yet. I don't know what's in it. So, so before we have trusted a, a flow graph, it's regarded by the DRC as untrusted. And whenever we open an untrusted flow graph, 
it will uh, open it in view only mode, meaning evaluation, evaluations are disabled. Um, so for example, let's say we have this complete.grc file downloaded and here I'm just running the grc from, from the source, but of course you will probably run it in some, some different way. But let's say I, I want to open this file. And uh, we see it opens and since it is untrusted, we are actually in view only mode right now, but it looks like completely the same as if we were not. Uh, and that's the point of view only mode. We want to view the flow graph as, as it had been uh, loaded using the evaluations. But in this case, we haven't actually evaluated anything on our machine. So we might move around some blocks or we might just check out the parameters and the info about each block. So for example, here we have this example from, from previously. Um, and you can see that it renders the, like the evaluated value, even though we haven't actually evaluated it yet uh, on the block surface. And whenever we try to make some modifying action, such as, such as if we were to, you know, for example, we can add a block, we could change a parameter, then we would get a prompt. So if I show here, we get this prompt, which says that you cannot do this action in view only mode, since we would need to re-evaluate the parameters or, or the expressions. So to perform the action, you have to trust the flow graph. And you can trust it once using this button, or you can trust it indefinitely. Uh, if you trust it once, it will be trusted in this session, and when whenever you close and reopen the flow graph, it will be untrusted again. And if you trust it forever, it will be regarded as trusted between sessions um, until you manually revoke that trust. Um, and we can also see this expression overview here, where there is a list of all the expressions that would have been evaluated if we were to trust the flow graph. So for example, you can see the expression from the example and some other expression here. Um, and you can see that it has the origin of flow graph. So these are expressions that are actually stored in the GRC file and uh, the flow graph file. But to, if we scroll down a bit, we can also see um, other expressions which originate from the block definition. And this is what I showed you briefly before where, where the templates, block templates may contain expressions as well. So you can see those here. And of course you can see the name of the, of the blocks where it belongs to. Uh, my window is quite small, but of course you can resize it and, and uh, drag, drag the borders of the, of the table and so on. Right, so, and if, if you, Perhaps you think it's too cluttered in in the view where you have all of this block definition, so you can choose to to only show the flow graph uh, expressions. And this provides an easy easy method of just looking at the expressions, and then you can sort of gauge if if this flow graph contains malicious code or not. Um, so there are not that many expressions here, but if we were to look at all of the parameters we would see like literals and identifiers but since we know that those are not malicious and cannot be malicious in any way we, we filter those out so here we are only interested in, in the parameters where they actually contain some sort of interesting expression uh, that the user should take a look at okay so for example we can choose to, to cancel Avrit is cancel in, in Swedish. So we choose to cancel and you can see the block was not placed. And if we were to add a block, we can choose to trust it and we have the block. And additionally, I, I also want to show that under the file tab, you can enable or disable view only mode. Um, so perhaps you're not interested in using this view only mode. So just disable it in, in the file tab using this toggle button or you can press the manage trust and you open this trust manager and um, the 
trust manager basically lists all of the flow graphs which you have trusted indefinitely so you can see here uh, which are, I've trusted indefinitely and you can add new flow graphs here or you can remove flow graphs from that list and uh, you can also add an entire directory where uh, yeah so so basically you you add an you add a, a directory and all of the flow graphs contained within that directory are also regarded as trusted so for example this is a directory whereas this is just a an individual flow graph we can for example uh, remove remove it from the list all right so there is one more thing that i, I would like to show you about the view only mode uh, but first i i need to explain sort of how the view only mode works under the hood so before the view only mode only the parameter expressions were saved to the to the flow graph file but after view only i've also made it so that the parameters evaluate the values are saved as well so the view only mode works in the way that it loads the evaluated values and uses those for for displaying the graph instead of having to evaluate the values but in the case where such values are missing for example if if we have saved some file before introducing the view only mode we we have this problem that we do not have evaluated values but we also do not want to evaluate the expressions so the behavior um, in those cases is that a prompt is displayed immediately on on opening the file and uh, the text is slightly different to describe uh, this this case uh, and the typical expected workflow is to just look at the expression overview and sort of gauge okay so i i can't view it in the only mode um, so I, I either have to trust it or just disregard viewing it at, at all so I, I look at the expressions in the overview and based on that i make my decision if i trust it it will open just just as normal um, and you're in or you're basically outside of view only mode uh, if i were to close this and then cancel it would simply just uh, close close the page so that is pretty much it for the view only mode there is a pull request live on github which contains the code for, for what i've shown you today um, and i'm still working on on some small details and before it's ready to merge but hopefully i can get that done as soon as as possible and so please check out the pull request clone clone it and try the feature out and provide feedback if, if you have any and to summarize opening untrusted flow graphs uh, introduces the risk of running untrusted code but the view only mode solves this problem by allowing the user to open and view untrusted flow graphs without having to evaluate the expressions themselves um, using the expression overview the user can sort of quickly gauge how if, if the user should trust the flow graph or not if the malicious or if the expressions are malicious or not um, and that has been it for for today's talk on the view only mode so thanks for listening and thanks to everyone has, that has taken part of, of the project in in some way and especially thanks to my Google Summer of Code mentors, Sebastian and Mark.